but you're Nestor Cortez of the New York Yankees. And we have a lot of <laughs> baseball stuff to talk about. We have a lot of pitching specific stuff to talk about, but a story that kind of didn't really break the internet per se, but it, it definitely took the internet by storm in a way. So you and DJ LeMayhew adopted a turtle named Bronxy right before the series at home against the Rangers on September 20th. From that point, the Yankees went nine and three and found themselves securely in the playoffs. So what's the story with the turtle that brought life to the Yankees clubhouse? So I kind of went to the guys, obviously, you know, having, you know, Brett Gardner and DJ LeMayhew and Stan and Judge, you know, all those big, big names. Um, I didn't want to be the guy to be like, man, why is this guy bringing a turtle in our clubhouse? <laughs> so I kind of went around the guys and, and you know, told Rizzo. And I told a bunch of guys uh, and I said, hey, what do you guys think of me bringing in, you know, a turtle? And they're like, uh, that doesn't sound so bad. But where are you going to put him? Like, what are you going to do? How are you going to take care of him? And I'm like, man, we'll figure that out as, as we, as you know, as the days go by. But I think we need something to like, you know, kind of, you know, camaraderie and, and have the guys, you know, come and, 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 and think the turtle's doing something for them. Or uh, I don't know, it's just, just a different feel. Cause we, like everybody knows we play so much competitive baseball. And we get so caught up in, you know, the moment and, and, and the competitiveness. And I, and I thought it was a good idea to, you know, have something there to, you know, back off some or, you know, play with before the game or kind of, you know, relax. And maybe, maybe somebody, you know, some of the guys even like to talk to the turtle, you know, and, and, you know, who knows what, what happened when, uh, when uh, they were alone, but, um, they, you know, I was happy with, I got the support from, from all those guys to, to you know, to bring in the, uh, a turtle and, uh, for the first few days, we didn't have a name for it. So, and also, I wanted to, you know, tell the team how, like, hey, we gotta come up with a with a name. But I don't like, I don't want, I don't want to come up with the name alone. I want everybody to pitch in, and I want you guys to give me what you got. What, what's the best names? And you know, some some people said sort of different things, and we're like, well, the best one is Bronxy for now, and and I think that that's what we what we got. When we ran with it. So, two follow up questions. To that first. You mentioned that it just had to be a turtle. First, I, my question is, why a turtle, not maybe a hamster or any other? Why a turtle specific? Well, I, that, that's a good question, actually. Uh, <laughs> pe some people thought about, like, a snake, and I, we're like, no, 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 no. We're, 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 so not we're going straight snakes. reptiles. No. We're not even <laughs> thinking about anything cute like a kitten or a dog. It has to no. be a <laughs> Um, yeah, some guys were like, oh, I think a snake would be cool. But I, th I thought the snake was a little dangerous. And, and I don't think it was even legal to have one there, honestly. <laughs> um, and the hamster, I, I don't know. We just didn't think about it. I, I probably just running around too much. And turtles more like, you know, subtle and quiet. And, you know, it just, it just lays it, you know, it just sits there. And you just got to feed it and, you know, give us some, some sunlight. We, we read up on this. We, we, we knew what the turtle needed. We needed what we needed to do to the turtle, how much time I needed to be in the water. So we, we took good, good care of it, honestly. And was there, was there a player who had a, maybe a special obsession with the turtle, maybe more than you might think? You said you were talking with um, Aaron Judge and Carlos Stanton. Was any one of those guys, did they take the turtle under its wing in any way? No, uh, I think the, the guy that mostly took care of it uh, – was DJ LeMayhew and Anthony Rizzo. DJ Those two guys were like, yeah, there were two were like, hey, have you fed the turtle? Hey, was the turtle? You know, constantly asking me about the turtle. Is the turtle okay? <laughs> and I go, yeah, man, the turtle's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not going to kill this thing. <laughs> uh, but but no, they, they, they uh, I think everybody, once um, it was in the clubhouse, everybody, you know, even like Aaron Boone and, and you know, all, the clubbies, the, the, the guys in the kitchen, they're like, hey, how's the turtle? How, you know, everybody, every day when I came in, asking me like, hey, how's the turtle? I was, I was like, no, the turtle's good. You know, he's just, he's just there. 